It was last July, actually, that I wrote this post called Hunger Hurts. My son had gone to bed having had the last bit of pasta and tomato sauce out of the fridge and um, I hadn't had any dinner. There was nothing left in the house at all. There wasn't, there wasn't even a stock cube I could make into a fake cup of soup. Into that pan there. I realised that I hadn't really been telling people how bad things were. Applying for jobs every day and the downward spiral of just getting more and more depressed. That's not a word I use lightly. You just start to feel like you've got no value as a human being because nobody wants to employ you and you've got no food in the cupboard and when your three-year-old boy wakes up in the morning he's going to want some breakfast and you've got nothing to give him. And I went round my flat and I scraped up all the change I could find, like a mad woman going through drawers and handbags every 2p, every 5p. And the next morning I took it to the supermarket and I bought one of everything in the value range and I brought it home. I put it on my worktop in my kitchen and I thought, well, what can I do with this? It was born out of having a can of kidney beans in a cupboard and a three-year-old that wanted a burger. I thought, I'm sure I can make this look something like a burger. I run all of my food past my uh, three-year-old son. If it doesn't pass the Johnny test, it's not, it's obviously not worth eating. <laughs> Tesco's do them for 80p, Sainsbury's they're around a pound. I became quite obsessive about um, the prices of things and supermarkets value ranges for a while. When you've got no spare money, you watch every penny that goes into your shopping basket. And one week, Sainsbury's Basics jam went from 29p up to 35p. And I had to put it back on the shelf because I didn't have that 6p difference. I've had to have sacrificed something else out of my food shop in order to have that jar of jam. I think people don't understand how little things really get to you as a person. Like when you've got a child that's two years old, their feet grow and they're walking along and they're telling you that their shoes are hurting them and you know you haven't got the money to go and get them a new pair of shoes. You log onto your eBay account and you think, I'll get, I'll get myself off eBay. So you take him to the posh shoe shop and you get his feet measured. And you say, right, it's a 5F. So you type 5F in on eBay and you realise that you haven't paid your eBay charges from the last thing that you sold on there to make some money. Test these to see if they're soft enough to mash. They have to be really soft and mushy. And drain them. If I woke up tomorrow having won the lottery or been an overnight success with my book deal. I don't think I'd change. And I know that everyone says that, but I don't think I would. It's going to take quite a while for me to be less careful with my spending. I think once you've been there, you never want to go back. This is quite a good consistency, this one. But if it's not this sticky, you can add a tablespoon of flour to it to um, help keep it together, but this is quite good. I challenged people a few days ago to give up one three pound morning coffee and instead go to their local supermarket and buy as much as they could from the value range from the supermarket with it and donate it to a food bank and the response has been absolutely overwhelming and the thought that one person's luxury latte could be somebody else's meals for a week really puts things into perspective. There's nothing wrong with having money, being successful. I don't, I don't begrudge anyone having a good career, a big house. But I think we're at a point now where we need to look around us at people that need a bit of help. And if everybody that had a little gave a little of it, the world would be a much better place. There you go. Total cost plus cumin, about 45 pence. Um, there's enough mix left in the saucepan for another two as well. So. 45 pence for about six burgers, which isn't bad. <laughs> There's 35 different ingredients in this can of curry. So I'm going to open this up and have a look at it. <laughs> 